Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says the average salary per head of all workers is $100. The average salary per head of six officers is $1200 and that for the rest is $60. Find the total number of employees. Let us first discuss the formula for the weighted arithmetic average. For this we consider x1 x2, x3 and so on up to xn b n quantities and w1, w2, w3 and so on up to wn b their respective weights Then we have the weighted arithmetic average is equal to x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 plus and so on up to xn wn and this whole upon W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus and so on up to WN. That is this is equal to summation XW upon summation W. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's move on to the solution now. In the question we have the average salary per head of all workers. is equal to hundred dollars. Next we have the average salary per head of six officers. Is equal to twelve hundred dollars. And average salary per head for the rest of the employees is $60. So, average salary per head of the rest of the employees is equal to $60. And we are supposed to find the total number of employees. For this, we suppose let the number of the rest of the employees be x. So, the total number of employees would be equal to x plus 6. Now, since we have average salary per head of all the workers is $100, so we have the weighted Arithmetic average is equal to hundred dollars. So substituting in the formula we have hundred is equal to six into twelve hundred. Since we have average salary per head of six officers is twelve hundred dollars. So six into twelve hundred plus x into 60. That is, average salary per head of the rest of the employees is $60 into the number of the rest of the employees which is X. And this will upon the total number of employees which is 6 plus X or X plus 6. 
So, cross multiplying we get 100 into 6 plus x the whole is equal to 7200 plus 60x. That is 600 plus 100x is equal to 7200 plus 60x. Further, 100x minus 60x is equal to 7200 minus 600. This gives us 40x is equal to 6600. That is x is equal to 6600 upon 40. Now the 0, 0 cancels. And 4, 165 times is 660. Therefore we have x equal to 165. And we know that x is the rest of the employees. So, the number of The rest of the employees is 165 and therefore the total number of employees is equal to 165 plus 6 which is equal to 171. So 171 is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of the question.